Hi, welcome to Glow's Kendra Kitchen and I'm Glow. Well, today I'm going to be making some roasted cabbage steaks in the oven to go along with some glazed corned beef that I'm preparing. And um, these recipes are delicious. You can make them any time of year, but the reason I'm doing it today is for St. Patty's Day or St. Patrick's Day. So let's go ahead and get started. I got this cabbage here, a nice big head, and I already cut one piece off. And I pulled off the outer leaves, they're right here, and we're going to put those outside for our little bunnies. That we've got, all, we have a lot of rabbits around here and other critters. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and slice a couple more of these. I don't know if you have ever had roasted um, cabbage like this, but it is just delicious. And so easy. So, so all you do is you put your cabbage like this in a pan. And then let me move this stuff out of the way so we have more room. There's just the two of us for dinner, so um, that's why I'm only cooking this amount. But if you were going to have it for a larger crowd, you could use a big sheet pan, half sheet pan, large sheet pan, whatever you have, you know, depending on the size of your group. And then what you do is you drizzle olive oil, and this is not the extra virgin, because I'm cooking at a high temperature, 400 degrees. So you just drizzle this on each one of these cabbage wedges, or slices, I guess you would call them, or they call them steaks for this particular recipe. Lightly salt. Lightly pepper. And then a little bit of garlic salt. If you don't like, or, or just garlic powder rather, you're not crazy over garlic or onion powder or anything. Leave off what you um, don't like. Got a little onion powder here. Also, the other thing you could do is if you've got seasoning salt and you like that, by all means, do that. And then I've got uh, nutmeg. Nutmeg pairs really well with cabbage. Just lightly. And the other thing I need is paprika, and we forgot to pull that out. So I'll be right back with you, and uh, we'll put that on. And this is what I use. It's just the sweet paprika, Hungarian, and just lightly. So this is going to roast in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes. And then I'm going to turn it, you know, flip it over and roast again until it becomes lightly brown on both sides. So I'll be back with you in a little while. Hi, right, well, these have been cooking now for about 20 minutes and I'm going to flip them now. So I'm using two spatulas because this one here, especially, I think will fall apart a little bit. Not bad. Not bad. So look how delicious that looks, you guys. Smells great. I'm flip this one out. It does help though when you have two spatulas. Whoop! That's the one I wasn't worried about. <laughs> Whoa, but. Nelly. Yep. There we go. It's fine. So I'm going to drizzle a little bit more olive oil on. There we go. And. Just lightly season because you don't want to overdo it. Doesn't it look just delicious? And see how easy this recipe comes together. If you want to have less cleanup, you can uh, put parchment paper in this pan. 
and then your cleanup is next to nil. But um, <clears throat> might be harder uh, to flip them, wouldn't it? No. No. Uh uh. And um, I don't do that usually unless I'm um, you know have a big crowd and I just want to keep it really simple. But I've got a couple other pans I need to wash so tonight, so it's no big deal. And I'm gonna do just a little bit of the nutmeg. Okay, so this is going to go back in the oven probably for about 10 to 15 minutes and it'll be all done. So I'll, sh I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Well, I just took these out of the oven and I got to tell you, they smell delicious and I'm looking forward to trying these out. Look how beautiful that is. Looking good, Miss Glow. Those smell really too. good. Yeah. This makes such a delicious side. I should have just left that one yep. the other way. Oh, well. It'll be very yummy. Also tastes good. We won't mess with this one. <laughs> there we go. Doesn't that look good? Looking good. So we're going to take a couple pictures, and then I'll be back, and we'll sample this for you. Well, it's all done, you guys. Look at that corned beef, that glazed corned beef. And then mm. I made, it's a roasted cabbage steak. It has olive oil on it and some seasonings, and it goes, it pairs really well together. So, now it's time for the taste test. I think the first thing I'll do is the cabbage. smells so good. I don't know if you guys like roasted cabbage, but we love it. So let me taste it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. When you roast cabbage, it brings out the sweetness. It's just delicious. And this corned beef is so tender. You don't even need a knife. That's pretty tender. Mmm. I don't know which is better. I like a boiled cabbage or this. This is excellent. Mmm, that glaze is so good. I gotta put a little bit more on. That is so good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Need another piece of that cabbage too. Mmm. What a treat. So worth it waiting for this. Mm -mm -mm. So good. I wish you guys were here to share this with us. I'd love to share it. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you have, please give me a like and comment. And um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do and share with your friends. I hope you guys have a wonderful uh, St. Patrick's Day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.